People of Hillsborough County voted for change on their school board and they voted for educators. I want to walk you through these races. We're going to start with District 1. I spoke with Nadia Combs on the phone a short time ago. She said that Steve Kona, the incumbent, called her to congratulate her. 63% of the vote to Nadia Combs. She is the owner of a tutoring center in District 1. Again, that's the northwest part of the county. Uh, and she said that she is so eager to bring some change. She is worried, desperately worried, about the morale of the district for parents and students. So she is eager to get on the board and, and bring some new advocacy to the Hillsborough County School Board. Let's talk about District 3. This was a race between two newcomers, newcomers because the incumbent, Cindy Stewart, was elected to the clerk of court. So we have this open position here in District 3 between accountant Mitch Thrower and Jessica Vaughn, a substitute teacher. I spoke with Jessica Vaughn on the phone. She said the superintendent called her to congratulate her. She said she is most excited because the makeup of the board is changing and it is reflecting long time educators. So she too is concerned about the budget, concerned about the coronavirus in schools. She spoke with me about Tallahassee and the role Tallahassee plays on this school board with not enough funding, she says, but also mandating. So they want a lot of control and they don't give a lot of the money. That is according to Jessica Vaughn, who again is eager to bring change to the school board. District 5, Central Tampa, Henry Shake Washington has 55% of the unofficial results here, but all precincts in Hillsborough County now reporting. So that means the incumbent Tamara Schamberger, 44%. Uh, so she's lost her seat to Henry Shake Washington. He's a longtime educator. Last week he told me that in all of his years as an educator, the thing he is most proud of is keeping kids out of the criminal justice system. So again, he has a lot of experience as an educator, and he says his number one priority is figuring out how to safely get kids back into the classroom given the coronavirus pandemic. And finally here, District 7, it's the countywide at-large position. Lynn Gray, this was the tightest race we had. Lynn Gray, the only incumbent to keep her seat. Again, it was clear people wanted change on the Hillsborough County School Board. Lynn Gray, also a longtime educator. She won 53% of the vote, edging Sally Harris, who used to be on the school board between 2014 and 2018. So Lynn Gray keeps her seat. Uh, and again, she told me that she too worried about the coronavirus. That's number one. Number two, worried about fiscal management. And those are the two themes across Hillsborough County. I mentioned they have a $3.3 billion budget. Right now they're trying to make up for a $76 million budget shortfall. So they, this board is going to have to make very tough decisions in the coming months. There has already been talks about eliminating 400 plus positions, possibly laying off some teachers. So nothing about this job is easy. When you start to think about the business side of a school district, it is complicated and it is full of tough decisions. It's things we often don't think about. We think about the classrooms, the teachers, our kids, but there is a business side to this and it is very complicated when you think about grants and the role that the state plays. The Department of Education does have their hand uh, in a lot of, of what we see playing out among our local school districts. So again, just to go over that, the four races here, um, we had three incumbents on the ballot. Two of them have lost their seat, Lynn Gray. She kept her seat for the countywide position. And the theme tonight, guys, I can't say it enough, um, just doing the research on these folks and having s spoken with them the last couple of weeks, um, they are educators, they wanna see change, and no surprise to any of us, two big things that will be on the agenda for a long time, the coronavirus keeping staff and students safe in Hillsborough County Schools, as well as managing the budget crisis.